one of the major topics that we're discussing with our customers when doing big picture implementation is how can we use the tool for reporting? Uh, what, how can we convey information, make it transparent? What is the status of a, prog of a project? What is the progress? And also where are potential issues, problems, risks? So there is a lot of reporting tools in Atlassian ecosystem that can be used for that. And they will work well with big picture because they operate on the same underlying data. But in this video, we're going to focus on big picture features and how this tool by itself can add or, or provide a lot of added value. This video is part of our effort to deliver best Jira and Confluence user experience at no cost. If you want to support us, subscribe the channel. And if you have any idea for future video topics or you have any questions, leave the comment below. Uh, and obviously, if you are interested in implementation sessions, implementation services of Big Picture, reach out to us. We will be happy to help. Now, let's look at Big Picture. So in this video, we will focus on home view, home screen of Big Picture. So this is what is visible right after accessing Big Picture. But this is, in fact, overview module of Homebox. So you will see uh, more or less the same with slightly less boxes in uh, all of the boxes that you enter. So, as you know, big picture is organized in so-called boxes that may have a hierarchy. So there can be a box representing iteration, there can be box representing program increment, project, portfolio, program, and so on. There is a lot of ways to configure that. And if you want to know more about the boxes, you can check other video that uh, will be available on our channel. Uh, so yeah, if that's the case for you, if you do not really understand what are the boxes, check the, the other video first. Now, what overview module allows us to do is it allows us to pull information out from the box and see its overview over here. So you can see that I have two iterations within program increment without agile project and I have some columns over here. These columns actually display information, aggregated information taken from the tasks that are within the box. So over here, I have column original estimate. And what it does, it basically tells me that in iteration two, there are tasks that are estimated in total for six days. The same goes for iteration one. On program increment level, this is already 28 days. And on whole project, this is 106, uh, 126 days, right? So this basically takes the information from the box and puts it over here. Now, only one column is not that useful. But over here, we can decide what other columns we want to see. Uh, and there are basically two types of, uh, of columns. One will have tasks at the end. These are the columns that are taking information from the task level, summing it up and putting over here. The other ones without task, this is information that is taken from the box level. We will discuss it a bit later. Uh, but we can edit the columns that are visible. And over here, you can see that I have way more of them. So I have original estimate, time tracking, time spent, remaining estimate, and so on. I could also put over here start and end date of the box. So that already gives us some indication of the progress. So you can see that iteration two is basically fully done. This, this looks pretty good. While the whole agile project is only 30% done. So we've basically done, uh, 40 days out of 126 plant. So this is pretty good indicator of what is the progress. And also if we would put start and end date over here, we could more or less see how it looks on the timeline, right? Whoever this 30% that we delivered is also more or less 30% on the timeline. Of course, delivery is not always linear, but it gives us some indication on of what is the status of work within the box. 
uh, if you're not logging work or maybe you are uh, doing the estimates based on story points there are other ways to track progress so you could for for example see over here statuses and we see how many tasks within the box are in what status category so we can see that in whole agile project 52 percent of tasks is in, in in status category to do but in program increment one only 37 percent so this also gives us uh, some indication into what is the progress so over here we see that we'll we can say that we're in one one third maybe half of the work done because yeah 31 percent of the task is done 37 to do 31 in progress uh, so but that takes into consideration only the number of tasks obviously tasks can have uh, there can be smaller tasks there can be larger tasks it it will not be linear so if we are esti doing estimates based on story points, let's actually put the column story points. Yeah, from the tasks. We'll give it a second and you can see that column was added. I will make it a bit larger. It looks very similar to what we had in status, but uh, now this percentage calculation is not based on the number of the tasks, but on the amount of story points so you can say that tasks are kind of weighted and here it looks better more work is done uh, and less is to do right so you can already see that very nicely we can pull out information from the box we do not have access each bo box separately to check the data here we have very nice overview uh, in the overview module as the name suggests and it scales nicely because we can have access or we can check just specific iteration or we can look higher at whole project there could be portfolio above that we can look also at whole uh, at all the projects all the portfolios that we have within our box uh, defined over here on the home level now that is all nice but not all information is stored on the task level right Fortunately, big picture offers also solution for that. So in configuration of the home box, we can define a new columns and these columns will, will make it possible to store the data on box level. So one of the columns that I defined is, is uh, for example, actual cost. What I will do is I will remove the story points for now. And first I will show you where to define that. So if we'll go to configuration of the home box overview, there will be box columns. So here we can define new column, defining what is the type uh, of, uh, of data that is stored in the column. So one of the, the fields over here is actual cost. It is a number. And I added actual cost over here. So now what can we do is that we can put the value or modify the value of, of actual cost in big picture. Uh, this information will be stored only in big picture and it will be assigned to specific box on which level we, we did that. But uh, what is interesting is that we can decide how parent boxes or how this information on parent box level should behave. So currently there is none. So we basically only display information from specific box, but we could go to sum and now for example you will see that on program increment level value that we have over here is actually the sum of all of the children and the value that is stored on program increment level so using the cost example you could decide what is the cost that uh, that is associated with each of the iterations maybe each of a project phase put it over here, sum it up and see on the project level overall cost of the project. Uh, so there can be a lot of different information stored in that kind of field. So over here you can see that I have uh, overall status, whether the project is red, green or amber. And this is very simple information that I can, that I can put manually because very often users do not want to have any uh, any uh, advanced automatic calculations because it's 
at times it is unpredictable, they just want to put the value manually so that everyone knows whether a project is going good or not, we can add this as a column and increase uh, visibility of that information thanks to the overview module. Now, there are two other features that I want to mention as they are really useful in increasing transparency and, and showing everyone how the project goes, but I won't go uh, deeply uh, into them. So first of all, Big Picture provides us additional gadgets. Uh, so if I'll go uh, to one of the gadgets that I have created, you can see one of the dashboards. You can see that I've put here a lot of gadgets from Big Picture and it allows us to pull out, pull out information from specific, uh, from specific modules in Big Picture onto a dashboard. So you can, for example, put the overview or put Gantt chart of your project uh, into the dashboard, which basically won't force users to go into Big Picture. And thanks to that, yeah, information will be uh, available and accessible easier. Second thing I wanted to show you and, and to, to make sure you know it exists is actually sharing uh, things. So if we go to one of my boxes, uh, let's go to training box. Uh, over here, you have share button. What it will do is if you click on this, the URL will be generated. You can share this URL and if someone goes there, they will see exactly what you've seen when you were uh, creating this URL. So all the views, all the columns, all the filters applied, uh, this is what they will see. So if there is more specific information that you want to show to other people, like part of your timeline, uh, or maybe just task assigned to single team that is over allocated and we need to decide what to do with these tasks, you can actually apply the filters in, in, in your box, in your module that you're interested in, generate the URL, share it with others, and then you will be sure you will be talking about exactly the same tasks, about exactly the same uh, situation. Obviously, this whole topic of reporting data is very complex. Uh, what we see with customers is that the larger the organization is, the more complex reports it needs. Uh, so if you need further help with that, if you want to implement the tool and address uh, the proper reporting right away from the start, let us know. We will be happy to help.